In this video, we focus on the game components and rules for Escape Zombie City. Escape Zombie City is a real-time board game for two to four players. A CD of soundtracks is your timer. There are only 15 minutes to discover new street sections, fight zombies, collect supplies, and start up the old van to escape the city before you are overrun by zombies. Every player has a set of five dice with five icons, a fist, a baseball bat, panic, caution, and getaway. This last icon is on the dice twice. Every player gets a pawn in a player color. Let's get to the tiles and setup. There are 23 street tiles. You start with the five tiles marked with the letter S. Place the church tile in the center with the two junction tiles on either side. Be sure to orient the tiles so that the streets connect and the skull icon is leading to the previous tile. The skull icon is also the direction zombies will move, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The van tile is placed above the church tile. Items acquired during exploration will be placed on this tile. The final starting tile is the cemetery, placed below the church tile. Zombie cards will be placed on this tile. The remaining tiles are sorted into A and B. Mix each stack separately, then put stack A on top of stack B. Sort the 18 item tiles by their three different backs and mix each stack well. Put them to the side, but within reach for all players. These will be the items you are trying to collect before you are able to leave town. There are three types of zombies, which are indicated by the background colors. The green zombies are the weakest, yellow ones are stronger, and red zombies are the strongest. Place all 20 zombies in the draw bag. There are five possible pre-organized scenarios in Escape Zombie City. You may also create your own. This is done with zombie cards. Zombie cards are shuffled and placed on the cemetery tile. Each time a new street section is revealed, the top zombie card must be drawn from the cemetery. These cards can spawn one or two zombies. If a zombie spawn point is on the card, draw one zombie from the bag for each zombie spawn point shown on the revealed street sections and place the drawn zombies next to the spawn points. There are also zombie movement cards. This card shows a yellow zombie, so all yellow zombies move one or two street tiles closer, following the skulls to the church. When a zombie makes it to the church, it is put on the cemetery tile. When the third zombie has made it to the church, all is lost. You have been overrun by zombies and lose the game. The game is played in two phases, with the soundtrack giving audio cues along the way. There are three countdowns. During the game, players must return twice to the safety of the church or lose one die for the rest of the game. The first phase of the game, players must find the exit, and depending on the number of players, collect a number of different items and take them to the church. These items can be found inside of three special buildings. Once the players have met both conditions and all players are at the church, the second phase starts. Escape by van. It is your goal to reach the exit before the third and final countdown has ended to win the game. During this phase, players remove their pawns and the van pawn is placed on the church tile. Collectively, players decide which of the three actions offered they want to perform as a group of survivors in the van. During both phases of the game, there are always zombies to fight. Keep them away from your only safe haven, the church. Sound simple enough? With everyone rolling at the same time, this game can get quite hectic. In fact, if you are not continually rolling, you are not playing the game right. Let's slow down the action and follow one player's choices. Susie has rolled getaway and a fist. She can move to that tile. Of her remaining three die, she has rolled two getaway and a bat. She uses the two getaway to reveal a new tile. It is an ordinary tile. Remember to place the tile so that streets connect and the skull icon is leading to the previous tile, the tile you are currently on. Because Susie has drawn a street tile, she now draws a card from the zombie deck. 
The card shows a zombie has spawned at this location. Susie draws a green zombie from the bag and places it on the tile. She continues rolling. Her choices now are go back to the start tile, reveal a new tile and move that way, or move onto the tile with the zombie and fight. Well, no guts, no glory. She enters the space with the zombie. Susie must roll three baseball bats to conquer this zombie. If a fellow player was with her, they could fight this zombie together, collectively combining their rolls for three baseball bats. After a bit of rolling, she gets the three baseball bats. The zombie is defeated and is returned to the draw bag. However, she did roll a panic icon. That die is locked and cannot be rolled until a caution icon is rolled. This icon unlocks two locked die. A little further along in the game, Susie has revealed a building tile. There are three types of buildings, the hospital, the gas station, and the supermarket. Susie needs to roll three fists to gain this object. She finally has. It's food. A player may only carry one item at a time. So Susie decides to roll her way back to the church and drop this item off at the van. Building tiles are not refilled with items immediately. There are sound cues that let players know when it is time to refill items on building tiles. After the exit tile has been revealed and all players are back at the church, remove the player pawns and place the van on the church tile. Phase 2 has begun. From now on, all players decide collectively which of the following three actions they want to perform. Drive. In order to drive to the next street, all players must roll all icons required for that tile, and every player must also roll a getaway icon. Fight zombies. The same rules for fighting applies as during the first phase. Rescue. If a player has too many locked dice, a zombie card may be drawn. During this phase of the game, only spawn icons and zombie spawn points are valid. Be careful with making this choice, as it can put another zombie on your tile you will have to fight. The benefit is that the player with the lock dice will now get to unlock all their dice. With randomly drawn street tiles creating the town and zombie cards creating scenarios, Escape Zombie City is always different. Coordinate your actions and help each other because your only chance for survival against the zombies and escaping Zombie City is by working as a team.